Hey guys, the best intake valve cleaner, CRC, GDI, intake valve, and turbo cleaner isn't safe for turbocharged engines. People are always asking me this because I've tried every intake valve cleaner known to man. That includes a brake cleaner and also a water for decarbonization to try and clean carbon buildup, valve gunk, off of the intake valves. Mostly on GDI engines, but it's not only the direct injection engines, guys. It's also the port fuel injection engines, but I will say they're definitely not as bad. Now, hence the name, CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner. So this does lead a lot to believe they can clean um, these engines safely with turbochargers. Now, is this true? Well, I can tell you, if a big chunk breaks off, goes into your turbo, it could definitely damage the turbo. People are always asking about the catalytic converter as well. Now, my catalytic converter works perfectly fine, and you've seen all the valve gunk. I mean, you can check out the videos if you haven't seen any of them already. Definitely the worst valve gunk ever. I mean, really, once you've seen it, you'll believe it. Now, get yourself a bore scope camera, check out your vehicle. This is something you need to see because it affects performance and a lot of other things. Not to mention it can damage your engine because if a carbon chunk gets big enough, it won't allow the valve to seat properly. Now, this can cause a lot of problems. Loss in performance, damaging the engine. Back to the root question. Will it damage your turbocharger? Now, what you need to do is use this safely. Preventative maintenance is key. People always want to wait until a problem gets too bad. They're saying walnut blast, walnut blast, walnut blast. You know how much it costs to walnut blast if you don't do it yourself? Yeah, it can be quite an undertaking. So they're going to charge you a lot of money. Now, if you do it yourself, not so much. But if you make a mistake, this is even more dangerous than using an intake valve cleaner, a spray cleaner. So the best thing you can do is take a great cleaner. You can check the video, see for yourself um, which cleaners work best, what you prefer, um, and use this cleaner to clean the valves every so often. Don't wait until the buildup is just so bad that you can't get it off because it does harden over time and then you're unable to get all of it off. So by doing this about every 10,000 miles, following the instructions of the manufacturer is definitely key. You can also use an oil catch can. I'm sure you've heard about that. And hook that in with your PCB system because the blow-by is the issue making its way into the from the crankcase all the way to the intake valves through your uh, intake runners and this will also help clean out the intake runners itself because guys it will cause damage and these carbon deposits form also in the combustion chamber and this causes detonation and that can also destroy your engine let alone your turbo the oil catch can the PCB system routed properly, even the breather side of the PCB, make sure it's routed properly. And just empty it out every once in a while. And you do know that you can purchase these really cheap. I mean, just for like 20 bucks, you can get a pretty good one, usually a baffled one. But if you do get one that's not baffled, all you gotta do is make a baffling system inside the can yourself with some sort of filter media. Just make sure that it's safe, it's in there, it won't come out, break free, and destroy your engine that way. I mean, you can do anything uh, without using common sense and damage your engine, your turbo, everything. So, guys, just make sure you follow the manufacturer. I can't state that enough. And as always, guys, thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.